Section A13 of 27001 is Information Security Incident Management. It's a reasonably short, short section, but a very important one. It has two subsections in it. And the first one is about reporting information security events or incidents. And to be honest, this is the holy grail. If you get this right as an organization, you're laughing. This is about getting your users or your contractors or anybody who operates inside your scope to keep watching for events or keep watching. And if they find something which they feel is a weakness or a problem, to report it. It's a very hard one to get right and often it requires a cultural change in most organizations because the perception in many cases if I report this I'm either pointing at a problem that I've created or someone else has created and we're going to get into trouble for it. So it's very important that the culture that's uh, fostered or encouraged in the organization is one of freely reporting incidents or events or weaknesses without any fear of retribution. Now if you can achieve that you're on to a winner because what you've got is your whole workforce now looking at security issues and trying to think how can we improve this, where can we make suggestions that will make us a more secure and better organization. So if you get that right, it's extremely powerful. The second subsection is about managing those. So if you've got the first bit right and you have people reporting it and they're clear how to report it, who to report it and when to report it, you now obviously need a process on the other side to make sure those are managed effectively. So you have someone there who's knowledgeable and competent to deal with an incident or event when it comes through. Or more importantly, if a weakness is reported, somebody actually follows up and does something about it. The one tip I would have here, it's very damaging for people to report potential weaknesses and for nothing to happen about it. I can tell you very quickly, if I report a weakness two times, three times, nothing ever happens about it, nobody ever does anything about it, and certainly no one comes and talks to me about it, I won't be reporting many more weaknesses in the future. The last clause under this section, which is important to note as well, is the one about continual improvement or improving. And it's basically, I'm summarizing, asking you to stand back periodically and look at all the incidents which have occurred in your organization or look at all the events, including the ones that have been reported. And from that, to try and say, is there anything we can learn from this? Is there any trends that are going on that maybe you know, now that we look at it, we realize that there's an underlying problem or there's a root cause analysis required here. And again, the standard gives some tips here and it's asking you to look at those either in frequency or impact or even in the financial cost to the company of those incidents. Again, referring to some of the points we made earlier, if you get this right, it's a very powerful mechanism for achieving continual improvement of your information security management system over time. Um, the, the key thing to remember that is that in an organization with an ISMS that everybody has an obligation around um, information security incident management. The, the, kind of the, the formal responsibility would lie with the ISMS manager in handling and reporting and monitoring incidents and incident resolution, but every employee in the organization has an obligation to report an information security incident. And quite often clients would ask us what um, you know, what defines an information security incident? How would we tell people this is an incident, this is not an incident? And the guidance is that you know it's usually best to err on the side of caution. If you have any sort of doubt, report it to the ISMS manager and let the ISMS manager be the arbiter as to whether it was an information security incident or not. Mm -hmm.